Friday, August 16th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $111. Peace News Now is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and by you, the listener. The military sentencing of heroic whistleblower Bradley Manning began yesterday, and much to the disappointment and confusion of his supporters, Bradley was profusely apologetic in his written statement. He said, quote, First, Your Honor, I want to start off with an apology. I'm sorry that my actions hurt people. I'm sorry that they hurt the United States. At the time of my decisions, as you know, I was dealing with a lot of issues, issues that are ongoing and continuing to affect me. Although a considerable difficulty in my life, these issues are not an excuse for my actions. Manning is responsible for one of the largest disclosures of confidential or classified information in U.S. history when he released the video Collateral Murder, which features a U.S. Apache helicopter firing indiscriminately on innocent Reuters journalists for fun. While the operators of the death machine who murdered handfuls of innocent people have not been pursued for admonishment, Bradley was dragged into a military prison and tortured for three years and was found guilty late last month of charges including espionage, theft, and fraud for revealing their actions to the public. He faces up to 90 years in prison. Manning said he saw the unintended consequences of his actions, but when he made the decision to release the trove of government data, quote, I believed I was going to help people, not hurt people. Looking back, Manning said he wondered why he thought he could be the one to change the world better than those above him with more information. In retrospect, he said he should have, quote, worked more aggressively inside the system. Yeah, Brad, I'm sure you mean that. As if you really believed that those higher-ups in the military are just waiting for the right moment to investigate and prosecute themselves. It's unclear to me whether or not Bradley is saying these things in the hopes that he can save himself from a lifetime spent in prison, or whether he's visited Room 101. This story brought to you by Blockchain.info. Some call it the best online Bitcoin wallet. It's free and easy to use on your smartphone or computer. Get it at blockchain.info. Jason Sorens invented the Free State Project over a decade ago in an academic paper theorizing a strategy for achieving real liberty in a single lifetime. Today, the Free State Project is a reality, boasting a community of over a thousand movers and over 14,000 pledged participants. Those who pledge with the FSP commit to move to New Hampshire within five years of the FSP reaching its goal of 20,000 signers. Yesterday, Jason wrote on his blog that he and his family made the move this past Saturday. While your typical move-in can take days, he writes that it only took him 20 minutes, thanks due to the 59 people who greeted the family when they arrived at their new home. New movers to the free state often enjoy this type of hospitality upon arrival simply by posting a message board about the time and place of their move. No doubt Jason received an unprecedented level of support due to his connection to the project. Jason explains in his blog post that while the move did mean leaving behind financial security and some close friends, ultimately his move is self-interested, not sacrificial. Quote, The things that really matter in life are family, friends, community, and a sense of purpose. Financial security is secondary. We're participating in a historic effort to create a society of free and responsible individuals, which would be an impossible dream almost anywhere else. If you're considering a move to New Hampshire, check out Keene. Keene is one of the most popular liberty destinations. The Keene Vention, a three-day convention in Keene focusing exclusively on New Hampshire-based activism, is happening this fall. November 1st to the 3rd, fall is the prettiest time to visit New Hampshire. Your peaceful news anchor will be hosting a panel on civil disobedience. Get your feet wet by participating in Robin Hooding and other fun forms of liberty activism. Get tickets and plan your stay at keenvention.info. That's keenvention.info. Peace News Now is brought to you by friends of weusecoins.com and by listeners like you. Share this episode Catch us on the next news network and send some Bitcoin to peacenewsnow.com slash donate. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way. <laughs>